Joe Downs for the Aces instant replay post-game report where the UE women's soccer team gave Illinois all they could handle before finally falling in overtime 2-1. to one. What a heartbreaker it was. Let's go to the highlights. To Arad McCutcheon Stadium where they moved up the start of the game by a day to avoid the rain, but it was still a tad breezy. And the game was a tad chippy early. First half, it's hand-to-hand -hand combat between UE's Emily Rickett and the Illini's Kara Marbury, with Rickett getting the best of the battle but drawing the foul. However, the Aces took their lumps as well. Evansville defender Sierra Pagan trying to fend off the Illini breakaway collides with freshman keeper Michaela Till, and Pagan is the worst for wear, forced to leave the game 20 minutes in and would not return. Undeterred, the Aces late in the half get a golden scoring opportunity as Nikki Baham fires a howitzer just beyond the box and beats the Illini netminder top shelf. 1-0 UE at the break. The Aces get a chance to add to their bat as J. Bess Ruby launches from close range, but it's right at the keeper. At the 10-minute mark of the second half, Illinois gets the ball in at close range. Till comes out of the net, gets tripped up, and Kelly Mayday dribbles in the equalizer. And that's the way it would stay for the rest of regulation, sending it to overtime. When the Illini get a ball over the UE defense, and it's Mayday again. This time for the game winner, just a minute and a half in. Aces fall in sudden death, 2-1. to one. I caught up with Aces head coach Krista McKendry after the game. She said she saw a lot of positives out there, but that overtime goal was certainly one that's going to weigh on her mind. You know, I mean, I think obviously our girls battled hard, you know, for 90 minutes for sure. You know, obviously we had a couple of bad decisions and credit to Illinois. They battled, they came back, they capitalized on, on a couple of our mistakes. That last goal, what did you see from your position? No, I mean, it's just tactically, you know, it's just a bad, bad decision by, by our, our wing back. That's it. You know, obviously credit to them. She finished and took her chance, you know, but we've got to be better and smarter in there. What positives do you take away from this one? I mean, I think they, they've competed and they did what we asked them to do. You know, I mean, I think their, their effort and their attitude to try to come out and compete and win, you know, was stellar today. Um, you know, we just have to have to sure up some things and just not allow, um, you know, the team to get back in the game. You talked about it earlier in the week about how Nikki Bayham provides that spark for your team. You saw it in the first half a little bit. What did you see out of it? I mean, obviously, you know, her two goals have come from, you know, being in the game at the right moment, taking advantage of her opportunity. And she has the skill set and, and the mentality, um, you know, as far as a soccer mindset goes. So for us, again, the girls credit, credit to our girls. We battled hard. You know, we just unfortunately, you know, made a couple bad decisions. Now, Coach McKendry and company will make the trip down to Bowling Green, looking to turn things around against the tough bunch from Western Kentucky Sunday. For the Aces, instant replay, post-game report, I'm Joe Downs. And remember, you can keep up with all things Evansville Athletics on GoPurpleAces.com, as well as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and our YouTube channel.